Alright guys, today we're going from Alamosa, Colorado up to Cheyenne, Wyoming in American Truck Simulator. We got a 1969 Camaro, 71,780 pounds. It's going to take about 13 and a half hours to get there. 77,354 is what should net off this load. Um, we got the Feather Out Customs, Feather Light Car Hauling Trailer. And this is John Ruda's Peterbilt 379. Got the Caterpillar 3176A in it with the 13 speed. So let's get in here and uh, get underway. We got a we got a little drive ahead of us here. Um, it's 339 miles. So. Trying out a new. Uh, what do you call it? Interface, I guess. UI. So bad. So far, it's not so bad. It's, I mean, it's totally di it's different. I kind of like it. Get ready to turn right. Unfortunately, it is nighttime, so most of this run is probably going to be there at night. It says our ETA is for uh, Sunday at 7 19 a.m., so we'll be driving throughout the night. I didn't realize it until I already clicked the load, so I can't change the time. It only had like three hours left on it before it expired. But it'll be alright, we can do a nighttime drive. Now that they updated game, you can actually see shit during the night time. Well, kind of halfway see shit. It's better than what it was. So I got another garage. We got that upgraded. Now we need to start buying trucks and hiring more drivers. Get some money flowing in. Four on that straight on. <sighs> Think he wants to race. Smoke his ass. Oh shit, there's two of them, better not. What else is it saying? Five hours and forty-nine minutes. Now it did say three. That ain't no telling. If I screwed up like everything else. Time to bust out the old Christmas paint skin, isn't it? I have to find a new one. I have to make one. I might try making one. Maybe I'll put some Christmas lights around the Donny Gamer Donny logo. Go straight on.
flying hook. Turn up the uh, MXAO on reshade a little bit. What that does, it puts like a like a shadow, a dark outline around objects to give it more of a depth, just to help make it look better. It uses up quite of the CPU, GPU. only downside to it. Depot Hill. Damn, little cars getting up there. stars in the sky. When we're used to look out the side windows, you couldn't see shit. Not even more. to the bathroom. Easy there, old tanker yanker.
fuel, yeah. Should be a pretty straightforward uh, trip. I don't anticipate anything happening. What's been doing out there in YouTube land? You guys doing pretty good, huh? We just playing a little bit of American Truck Simulator. I think I'm going to uh, play a little multiplayer, a little convoy here in a little bit. I wonder how much money I can get off this truck if I traded it in. You know, I like this truck and you have everything, but I'm starting to get kind of tired of driving it. Like a change. Well, so we put what, 14, 15,000 miles on this thing. I've had it for a while. this one, one that's about a hundred thousand dollars, we'll have enough to, uh, no we won't have enough, I was going to say we'll have enough to buy the Pinga, Peterbilt 379, but that's like 215,000, so that wouldn't be enough, we'd have to do like two more trips, so. and that's the ultimate goal for the truck anyway. From what I've seen, uh, body trucks you can't get used. Could be wrong, but I have yet to see one a used body truck. trailers down. I, when you first get them, they're only like 12,000 pounds. And I like using the jacket brake. So you need something that's going to push. So I raised it up. I might lower it just a little bit. I might just leave it alone. I probably should just leave it alone.
thinking about just starting over a whole new profile. But they added the modded trucks. He will start with zero money, no trucks. Again. I don't know, almost, I feel kind of bad using no feather like Carl and Trailer because it pays so much. But I mean, you're hauling classic cars and special cars and shit, and so you can charge quite a bit. It's not like if you damage it, you can run down to Walmart and get another one. Or unique. city this is Sterling Junction, Grand Junction. Oh hell, the sun will be coming up here very soon. Got about a hundred miles left. Some hella road noise going on, huh? Pretty damn loud. Why is it so loud for? I don't know which one exactly it would be. Oh hell, there's more. It's a little quieter. I put the Z mods uh, interior noise. I think it was a road noise. Put that mod in. It's another tequila sunrise. Keep left. Tip for on the keep left. Four on 
bypass. Well, hell, we're getting it. Got it to the floor, that's about all she got right there, which is about normal, that's about realistic. Turn the string wheel, it's hard to hit the turn the jacket brake off because I got a button set on the string wheel. It's the only bad part, I need like a button box. I'd make a good button box, but I don't know how to uh, get the computer chip, the board, circuit board. It have to be kind of like a custom left. made one for however many buttons you want. Like 20 or 30 left. buttons should do it. Some of the big old targo switches on there, some slob knobs. Knob slobs with the slob knobs, I think that's what they're called. The big long ones. This is where it ends. This is where it ends. Put it down first, Donnie. Come on now. Act like it's your first day driving. I'm a noob. Um. Billy Joe Bob. The security guard's name. Check that bitch out. That'd be a haul right there. The old belly scraper. Who the hell would skip this parking? It's like the easiest parking in the world. I guess if you didn't care about the XP and shit, you could. Hurt. There she is, black and beautiful. I wish I could get to like the paint the bottom part of that trailer chrome, the part that hangs down. There's that whole strip chrome. That'd be pretty cool. This, uh, like from, can you see the mouse? Yeah, you can see the mouse. Like from here all the way back to there. Have this bottom part chrome so it kind of matches the truck. But the fenders kind of break it up a little bit, so it's all right. I'm not that good of a modder. 
339 miles, 8 hours, 1 minute, 72 point one gallon fuel, saving $7,354 earned. 21 and a half, professional. Alright. Okay, let's check something out here. Truck dealer. Let's uh, we go with the Peterbilts. I just select this one here. But visit dealer, because you gotta visit it if you're gonna do a trade in. I'm not going. I'm not saying I'm going to do a trade in. I'm just we're we're just looking, just looking. Trade in values 163,000. You'll see 900 and something. So we'll really only be paying 64. Hell, that ain't bad. That's a. Uh, Vipers Peterbilt right there. The Hater Built. It's not a bad truck. Um, next truck. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. This is uh, the Peterbilt 3XX. I believe that's a 359. Or 5. Yeah, I think it's 359. What does it say? It says right there 377. What a dumbass. Next. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, this is Dooms Peterbilt right here. Dome, whatever you want to call them. Uh, DDC. That's a nice Peterbilt, too. It's actually one of my favorite trucks. That's just a regular SCS truck. So is that one. So is that one. Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, that one's a regular SCS truck. Oh, here comes the modern one. Oh, uh, this is the Peterbilt 3, or 539. 359. I got Delexia. I read shit backwards. I have one of these on my other profile. That's a pretty cool truck right there. I like the way the interior looks. The old dash. Not a bad truck at all. It's an old one. Damn, that's a little bit skinny shifter. I think I'm gonna bend in half shifting gears. It's 160 with our trade in. I only see, what do I only see? 3,212 on that one. It's worth that, and that's what I'll receive. That's bullshit. I ain't getting that motherfucker or that one. Oh, this is what I'll pay. Okay, I'm a dumbass. This is the price of the truck. This truck right here, base truck. That's the price. This is the price of my truck. The sixty, the hundred and sixty-three thousand. So I'll pay three thousand bucks for it. This is the same truck I got though. We could totally do. Uh, I don't know if Vipers is going to show up in the garage or not. If it did, I'd probably end up getting it. Or not Viper. Fuck me. What's the one we've been in the game crashes? Okay, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm just going to go load it back up and look through the tracks. So, uh, don't forget to. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Share. And leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.